In this demonstration, we're going to show you how easy it is to use Project Keswick to set up a new piece of edge hardware to monitor a very busy yard for health and safety reasons. We're going to capture the events and send those back to a cloud or data center environment. Getting started with Project Keswick is very easy. Let's download our image media and deploy our first host. We've been working closely with the hardware and software ecosystem to enable a wide variety of edge-ready compute devices from vendors such as Lenovo, AMD, and Hewlett-Packard Enterprise. Also with design partners such as Kindrel, who have been providing feedback and enabling customer use cases. In this example, we'll be using a AMD small compute device that has the vendor maker model written underneath. We're going to simply insert the Keswick USB media and power it on. This will automatically install the virtualization and Kubernetes layer ready to run your Edge applications. Once built, it will register itself with the Keswick SaaS platform and be ready for its desired state. Take note of the vendor, model and serial number. We'll use this later on to register the host with our organization. Let's add a Git URL that we can pull our single source of truth from. In this case, I'm going to paste my GitHub URL. I'm going to use the main branch and I'm going to give it a description so that we can find this later on. Let's add our host into our organization. We can use the add host wizard to specify a server that's already part of the VMware compatibility guide. But in this case, our server isn't. So we're going to add it in manually. We're going to enter the vendor. We're going to enter the model and we're going to enter the serial number. A reminder, these came up when we built our host earlier on. The service will now wait until it's able to communicate with the host and associate it with your organization. Once that's been done, after a couple of seconds, we can see it's now in our available hosts list and it's ready to be activated. We can easily activate this host by giving it a username and an access token to connect to the GitHub repository and pull its desired state. We can now see some basic metrics about this host. We can look at the events to see the registration of the Git repository, and we can check out the alerts for any issues that the host might have. Now the host is linked to its Git repository, let's take a look at what we're pushing. You can see that we have defined the information of the ESX configuration by giving it an NTP server. We've also given it some networking services to enable it on the local IP range at that edge location. And we're pushing a computer vision application down to our host through desired state. In this case, we're going to push the Frygate image down to the host, and we're going to tell it to activate on a given IP address. Let's copy that IP address, and it'll be on port 5000. So we'll go to that, and we can see that our application has been stood up and is already starting to collect some events. We can see it's already isolated a clip where somebody was in a dangerous area. And we can now use this application to push only the relevant data back to our data center or our cloud, ensuring health and safety is met. This has been a brief demonstration of Project Keswick setting up a edge location to monitor a dangerous area through computer vision.